Welcome to Adventures in Photography. My name is Stanley Earl Conrad. This series of tutorials in Photoshop will demonstrate how to make good photographs into great photographs. This tutorial will demonstrate how to establish the correct print size as viewed on the monitor. There are times when you might need to view a print on the monitor and have it be its actual size as if it had been printed. Once this preference has been adjusted for correct print size, it will stay until it is changed. You're going to make a white bar that just barely fits in your monitor screen. The longer, the better for accuracy. At the top of the screen, click on File, New, and in the width bar, set something that just fits inside your monitor. In this case, I'm setting it to 14. Make sure inches is in this box, and set your height to 1. The resolution doesn't really matter at this point, and click OK. What you want to do to see what it's actually going to look like on print size is select the hand tool click on print size. Now you want to get a good ruler and lay it right on the screen and see what it says. Now to correct this link, do this. Go to the edit menu. Come down to preferences, slide over and drop down to units and rulers. Right here in the screen resolution window is a number. You might want to write that down for reference. If your image over here is too big, this number needs to be smaller, and conversely, if it's too small, it needs to be bigger. Well, it looks to be bigger after I measured it, so let's drop it down to 80 units. Click OK, click on the hand tool, and click on print size. Now you need to measure this and see if it's right. If you're right, then you're done. If it isn't right, you need to work on it uh, by changing the number slightly, and you can use decimals in those numbers. Okay, now let's bring in a photograph and see how this works. Click on Image, Image Size, and down here in the Width window you want to type in 6. Make sure this is inches and make sure that the Resample Image button is off for this demonstration. So we'll put a 6 there. Click OK. Come down to the Hand, go back up to Print Size, and there is an exact 4x6 image on your screen. Now this can come in handy if you want to check things like the amount of sharpening on the actual size of the photograph as people will see it. Now you need to keep in mind that this will work for any size photograph. 